Alright, and we're back. Hello, Let's Play fans. Welcome back to my LP of Breath of Fire 3. I apologize for the last episode. It seemed kind of suck-ass. I mean, it might have looked good to you, but that's just because I did a lot and lot and a fucking lot of editing to make it look at least decent. But I went through a lot of hell on that. And Nino just pops out of nowhere. Yay. But anyways, I was looking through my menu here. And I noticed something quite shocking, and that's the fact that it doesn't look like I'm going to get the 15 weapons at the point that I was wanting to get them, mainly because I should have done my level grinding earlier, back when I was around Genmel, so I could afford some of the weapons there, but because I didn't do that, I won't be able to get uh, the 15 weapons before I was wanting to. It doesn't really affect much, it's just a few items that I could have got... Uh, earlier than I'm supposed to, but it makes no difference. I've beaten the game before without doing it, so no harm done there. But enough bullshitting around. Let's get going. I had a weird freaking day today. I mean, really weird. Oh, new enemy, Armor Bot. I think he has a new skill uh, you can learn from him. Oh, you know, that's a different bot. This guy just has a lot of defense, so just hit him with Jolt. Anyways, it yesterday started out weird because I was wanting to study for an exam I had today. And, well, I didn't realize I left my keys in the car until I was trying to go home. <laughs> so I was locked out of the car. It took me about two and a half hours to get back home and get inside the house. And by the time I was getting ready to study, I went to my laptop and fell asleep at it, so I went into class the next day, no time to study at all. I got there a little early, hoping that I could uh, study a little bit for class, but no, I had to go to the, the student store and buy a Scantron sheet, so that sucked. I'm hoping I did good on the exam, though. Anyways, that's not the weirdest part about what happened today. I mean, just when I was driving home, uh, I came, turned turn down the road uh, that's close by my apartment, and there was cops everywhere. There was like, I don't know, 16 cop cars. There was a SWAT unit, the sheriff, and there was even a police negotiator standing outside, if you can believe that. They were all uh, congregated just down the road, and there were blocking off the road, evacuating people from their houses. It was weird as shit to see that. I'll explain a little bit more later. But yeah, it was just... It was just unbelievable. I, I could not believe that I saw that. Uh, anyways, from what I heard, it was some sort of hostage situation. Yeah, if that, that's just hard to believe that that happened at, that close to the house. Yeah, I, I think everything's alright. All the cops are gone when I went out there last. But, <laughs> that was a trip nonetheless. Yeah, I even had the news person out here. I was talking to him. Oh, got one of them. Look at that. They always attack Nina. Just like I was saying before. Ah, oh, weather vein your ass. Yeah, it might have been a little overkill, but whatever. Oh, Nina's close to a level. Anyways, enough of that. Let's head up this way. What the fuck? What the hell's that thing? Oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> well, they, I don't think that was a good sound. What? What was that? Uh, let's go find out. You're not the leader, Nina. Ryan is the leader. Uh, hmm. I guess the key lies in somehow stabilizing the pure chrism. That <laughs> little robot's poking her. That's it. If the gasification pressure is kept down. Huh? Gasification? Is that a real word? What? You! Your friends of honey? Nice to meet 
You! I'm Momo! <laughs> yeah, why you yelling at us? <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. But you see... What? <laughs> I was trying to say that we're not really friends. We're trying to find the road to India. What? I'm sorry. My ears are springing after that explosion. I wouldn't doubt it. Hello! <laughs> Can you please show us the road to India? What? <laughs> I love the dramatic uh, pull back of the camera. I'm sorry, my ears are better now. So, you want to go to India? No problem. I'll take you to one of you myself. Thank you. I'll be sure to make it up to you when we get to the castle. Castle? Wait a minute. When you say Nina, do you mean Princess Nina? Your Highness! Please forgive me, I had no idea. It's alright. You're helping us after all. Please call me Nina. You know, it's with all these princesses being non-formal. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that really applies to the real world. Shall we get going? I have to get some things ready. So why don't you rest here a while, while I get them? Come on, honey. We're going now. Just drops the broom and... <laughs> Can't resist singing out that melody. We're just chilling. I don't know how Ryu sleeps like that. It looks uncomfortable. Thanks for waiting. Say, you two aren't being followed by some scruffy looking guys, are you? They <laughs> just nod. That's funny. When I went outside to buy something from the merchant, I saw these real rough looking characters there. Uh oh. Insert intense music. Hey, you there. We're in a hurry. Did you see a couple of kids around here? Hmm. You see, I be a humble merchant, yes. So if you be wanting to know about the kids, it'll be costing you, see? The guy just spits on the ground. He's all pissed off and bald. Hey, there's no need to be afraid. I mean, inside this tower... I've been doing experiments on Chrism. So there's lots of monsters here. Not to mention Chrism machine soldiers. Machine. I can't say that word. Traps protect me from them. Well, we haven't seen that one yet. And all sorts of other things. Don't worry. They won't get up here so easily. Uh... But we did, Momo. <laughs> yeah, if we were able to get this far, yes, even Nina knows that. Oh, I guess you're right. How'd you get up here, anyway? Oh, jeez, Momo. Kind of clueless there, aren't you? Let's not worry about that now. We have to get out of here. Right. Since we can get out by going down, let's go up. Don't worry, there's a way out. Come on, let's go! Dun, 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 dun. Momo has joined the party! Do you want to save now? Why not? We get a new party member, Momo. I'll show you her stats here once I'm done saving. I need to really make sure I make a backup file so, like, what happens in the last episode doesn't happen again. That sucked. Anyways, let's go to the menu! She, yeah, she's at level 10 right now. And she can be one of the most balanced characters in the game if you uh, manage her levels just right. So, you can work with her however you want. It'll really help out. Yeah, let's put her on the creep cape there. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the best one for her. And she has a really high attack power. And where did it show? It? Yeah, 88. The only problem is she has really poor accuracy, but there is a solution to that later on. And she also gets pretty good spells. I think she has some now. Yeah, she has Heal, Purify. Uh, these ones here are pretty useless, the Foretell and Identify. But you got Protect and you got Silence. Those ones are pretty good. And she, she learns a few other things. And she also has a couple of attack spells she'll learn later on that only she can learn. So yeah, she's a pretty good character to have. And I'm probably going to have her for, you know, pretty much the whole game. Alright, in here we got a wall puzzle here. Let's read this. Panel key. Stepping onto the floor panels triggers a switch. Stepping off the, the panels resets the puzzle. The door will open when all the panels, panels have been set to gray. Do you want to try? Yes. So what you have to do here is I got a little nice little diagram here to go by. Make sure you walk through here. So if you have auto dash on, turn it off. So let's see, you want to start at this end right here, and then go across all the way, and then down this way, and then down two, and you go up this way, down like that. Oh, fuck! That's the only problem with this, is the way you have to press the controller is kind of difficult. Alright, take two on this. And there we go. That's how you do it. It's not too bad. I had a little diagram I was following. Oh, laptop went off again. Should probably turn the volume down on that. Alright, that was just an ice toad. Nothing to worry about. Let's see what's in here. Skill link. A flame chrism. And an ice chrism. And those chrisms are actually weapons that you can put on Momo. Yeah. Uh, they're a little weaker, but the flame chrism's probably good for those ice toads. And like I said, you can equip battles or items in battle, like different weapons and such. And I don't, I haven't shown that yet, but you can do it, and I'll probably show it in one of the battles coming up. All right, let's go ahead and read this. Four rotating cubes. If you can find the matching pair. Yeah, we saw that in the. Uh, the little uh, scene there with Momo. We saw it just for a second. Alright, let's head upstairs now. Alright, here I am in the, a battle. And I'm going to show you how to equip an item in battle. You go all the way to the top of your menu, and then press up. And you can go over here and change equipment. Yeah, that's how you do it. And then you can equip different items in battle, and even items that you've stolen from the enemy, you can put on too, right in battle. So that makes that kind of handy. So, yeah, that's how you do that. Quick explanation of it. Alright, I just gotta heal up after that battle. It's another one of those battles that kind of kicks your ass. Let's just use up these croc tears, jeez. I don't need, really need them anymore. Alright, and after that, like I said, Nina went up a level and she learned Weaken, which lowers one target's defense. That one's kind of good, because I, I use Snap every now and then. Alright, yeah, and just after that quick explanation, that's how you uh, switch weapons in battle. So if you're against someone that's weak against a certain type of weapon, you can switch it in battle. Alright, let's head down this way. Alright, here's the room with the four rotating cubes. The ones you want to press are this one, press that switch, and you want to press this one. If you stand here and watch them, yeah, you can see that they're just like that one over here. And that's how you do that. That's pretty easy. Alright, let's get moving on. That was a huge group of robots I ran into. Alright, just down this way, up the stairs, down this way, and then up here. Okay, uh, let's see if I remember this room right. See, you hit these levers to switch those tiles over there around. Let's see what's over this way first. Alright, you're just moving on. Yeah, I think this is the way I want to go first. There's a few items in these little side paths here. 
Ooh, Moon Tears. That is a really good item. You want to hold on to those. You don't want to use them unless you really need to. What they do is restore 240 HP per character and restore your status. So those are really good to have. Man, I really hate those lizards. They, they do nothing but pound Nina's face in. Alright, let's press this one then. Okay, nothing. What about if I press it now? Still nothing. Oh, something happened now. Let's head over this way then. What's in here? Is there anything in here? What's in the book bookcase? Chrism beam! When chrism ore is subjected to high pressure, it emits a highly charged beam of light. This is called a chrism beam, and has many useful applications. Yeah, that's fascinating. I don't give a shit. Alright, let's get out of this room. Nothing in there. What about down here? In here we get 800 zenny! Yay! Is there anything in these boxes? I don't think there is. Uh, let's see, now Mobo's ability on the map is she can shoot things with her cannon. And I don't think there's anything in here she can shoot. Nope. Yeah, you can break down certain walls with her uh, cannon ability there. Oh, new enemy, Hyperbot. Yeah, this is the one that uses uh, an enemy skill that you can learn. It's called Blitz. It is... it's practically useless to learn. What it does is, it'll do random damage to all targets. But, uh, like, all enemy targets. Not everybody on screen, but... But, the only problem with that is... Is it takes half your HP to do, so it's not really good to use. So I just avoid it. All right, let's try and take him out, actually. Because I don't want him to use Blitz. Up oh, like this. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I see he just throws a bunch of random shit at your party. <laughs> but after he, he did that, he's, his health is actually half. Oh, forgot. You don't want to hit them with uh, lightning. Cause I think they get more uh, attacks if you do that, so don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Do as I say, not as I do, and all that fancy shit. Alright, now that I got everything in here, let's go upstairs. Uh, nothing else in here. Alright, still moving on. There's nothing over that way. Nothing down here, so I can just keep going up, I guess. There's a really useful item in here I'm trying to look for, if I can find it. I can't really remember where it is. I just know that I want it. Let's see, it's not over there. Alright, this is an, uh, another interesting puzzle. First of all, let's see where this goes. It goes nowhere, that's exactly where it goes. Isn't that awesome? Sorry about wasting your time there. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't do any practice runs, so any LPers out there, do practice runs, it really helps. Alright, Eldritch Floater. Channeling chrism or magical energy into the crystals will activate it. So what you want to do here is take, put Nina in the front position and hit this crystal a certain amount of times. I want to hit it twice right now, so one, two. Alright, and then jump on this platform. It'll take us right here, and we can get a chest. If I can open the damn thing. We get a breastplate. Let's go into the menu and actually check that out. Let's see, 55, 55, she's got 51. Yeah, it's actually weaker than what we have right now, so... Useless! Let's keep moving on. <laughs> I like how there's trapped on over there. That's funnier and shit. Oh, wrong button. Alright, now we want to hit it six times. Three, four, five, and six. And then get on the platform. Whee! That'll lead us over to another chest, which contains a really, really important item to me. The ivory dice. Now what the ivory dice can do is, you go into the menu and you check it out. Where is it at? Yeah, it's right there. 
says, Mystery effect if used on enemies. It doesn't really tell you what it does, and when you use it in battle, it kind of looks like it does nothing. But what it actually does is if you use it in battle and you win that battle, the experience that you get at the end is doubled. And if you have more than one ivory dice and use it in that battle, the effect sticks. So it'll go from being double to four times uh, more experience to eight times more experience, and it really stacks. So if you collect a lot of these, like I'm going to do, then you can really use it to get what you want in the game. Like, you can get uh, master anything really fast, you can gain the levels that you want, and in conjunction with another skill that you can get later on, you can even uh, boost that effect by double yet again. So it is a really good thing to have. So just don't use those ivory dice unless you really need to. Me, I'm going to hold on to those until a certain point in the game where I can actually use those items and copy them. Okay, now we just want to hit this eight times. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now this should take us all the way to the other side, which where we want to be. All right, and then let's head up the le uh, stairs here. It's not a ladder, God. <laughs> that was epic. Nina killed a orc with just her physical attack alone. I feel sorry for that orc. He got emasculated big time. Is this what I've been looking for? Yes, it is. A new fishing rod. This one actually has quite a bit of distance on it, too. So you can catch those pesky fish that are way out in the deep ocean. The only problem is, is it can break a little easier than the wooden rod, so be careful there. Alright, just keep heading up the stairs now. Alright, this room is kind of annoying. I just muscle through it, is what I do. Then we want to get Nina up front here, and not hit the menu button. And you want to hit the crystal. And you're going to want to watch out for these beams, because see how they're a different color? Each one of them has a different effect. So, what, what I recommend doing is uh, switching it like that when you get into the inside between the beams, and then hit the crystal again. That way you don't fuck up your characters hitting these beams, because even though they're in just the follow position, they can still get uh, damaged by hitting the beam. I think one of them does poison, the other one does, like, confusion. Oh, come on, I'm, like, right there. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's enough of that puzzle. Let's get moving on already. This room is where my father used to work. There's a hidden exit in here. Cool. You bet, my dad was really something. He was the greatest engineer in the whole world. A little egotism there. <laughs> And before he died, he told me he'd made an escape device and hid it in the, in the tower. If I can actually speak. But the most funny part in here is when you inspect the bookcases. You really shouldn't be looking at this. Well, what does that mean? Not for sale to miners. What? You see a bunch of dirty magazines. Oh man, what the hell? You see a collection of adult books. My god... Look at how many porn magazines are here. Good lord, man. That is too much porn for one man. And I'm taking your money for that. So you can't buy any more porn. It feels like there's a switch under the desk. Do you push it? Why not? Oh, shit. What's happening? What's that noise? Awesome! Wow! Only my dad could have made something like this. I don't know, with all the dirty magazines, that could be just like a giant dildo for all you know. But why did he build something to get away like this? Just because, I guess. My dad loved machines. Come on, let's take a look at it. Let's see, if we ignite it here... 
I wonder what it does. Gee, I'm so excited. Oh boy. Alright, Momo, just calm down. Okay, everyone, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, oh fuck. That didn't really work that well, did it? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch indeed, my god. Looks like the landings need a little work. What's this? It's the instruction manual, let's see. Whoops! It says there's only supposed to be one passenger. Oh, uh, that kind of sucks. It also says to make sure to open the roof hatch before takeoff. Yeah, not just blow through the roof like we just did. Well, aside from that, it worked, didn't it? I mean, it worked pretty good, right? If you say so, Momo. I don't want to dampen your spirits there. Come on. If we stand around like this, they'll catch up with us. Alright. Before you leave this area, though, you want to come up there to that tree. And Ryu hears the voice of the brood sealed inside the chrism. You found the thorn gene, which actually enhances abilities of the other genes that you use it with. So that's awesome. So let's get out of here. And with that, I am out of time, so if you want to see what happens next, stay tuned for more Breath of Fire 3.